Hello, this is Michelle Knight, and this is the astrological update for Aquarius for the week starting the 22nd of August. Now, this week is very full on for you. It's intense, baby. And that's because you've got the sun vibrating in the eighth house and a new moon in the eighth house. And that's conjunct Venus, the planet of love. A lot of your focus is about relationships. Whether you're single, whether you're taken, it doesn't matter. You're thinking about the past. You're thinking about the present. You're thinking about trust, actually. If you're in a relationship, you may be thinking, can I trust my partner? You might be thinking of some indiscretion or problem that you've had in the past and it's building up in you. You can feel yourself getting obsessive or very intense about it. Or it could be because it's the eighth house that suddenly you find yourself wildly and passionately attracted to someone else and it's almost beyond your control because the eighth house is very obsessional and it's asking you to really examine your ethics and your morals and your desires when it comes to relationships and to let go in a way, well, not, well hang on a minute, <laughs> not, not necessarily to let go, don't blame me if you go running off into a wanton affair, but, you know, basically let go of your fears, let go of the fact that you feel life is out of control, and allow yourself to just be still and think about what these intense emotions are trying to tell you. Is it because you've repressed your feelings? Why is this happening? If you're single, suddenly you might find yourself obsessed with an ex-lover, or you meet someone and rather than have faith in yourself, you might find yourself tipping into obsession or like staring at that phone. When will they ring me? When will they text me? And um, that's not the way forward. Basically avoid obsession, but all of this energy is coming up for a reason. It's, it's helping you examine how emotionally secure you are, how much trust and faith you have in other people, how much trust and faith you have in yourself. And the good news, hooray, thank goodness for that, is that Mercury, the planet of communication, is going direct in your, the seventh house for you, which is all about relationships. So you'll be able to communicate very clearly and in a good way when it comes to relationships. And because actually, you know, the new moon in the eighth is conjunct Venus and it is trine Jupiter and trine Pluto, it, sh it has the potential to be a, a beautiful, intense, passionate journey to your inner truth. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.